Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Tuesday, the 13th of November. The euro is weakening against most of its major counterparts as no major decisions were taken during the Eurogroup meeting. More importantly, a disagreement between the International Monetary Fund and the Eurozone was revealed. During a press conference, Christine Lagarde, IMS Managing Director, persisted that Greece should return to their debt-to-GDP ratio target of 120% by the year 2020, while Eurogroup Chairman Juncker voted his preference that the target will be reached by the year 2022. Following these developments, market participants are becoming more and more risk averse. The Australian dollar dropped below 104 versus the US dollar overnight and even though it managed to pull itself back, the price behaviour still remains bearish. Gold is falling versus a strengthening US dollar. The precious metal is currently trading just above 1725 US dollars an ounce, having started the week yesterday at 1734.39. Oil is testing the 85 US dollars a barrel level early in the US session. If the precious commodity manages to break and hold above 84.90, then this could wait, pave the way for lower lows. Now let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 127.15 with a preference to enter into short positions at 127.15. The dollar yen pivot points at 79.60 with a preference to enter into short positions at 79.60. The Aussie dollar pivot points at 103.95 with a preference to enter into long positions at 103.95. The sterling dollar pivot points at 158.90 with a preference to enter into short positions at 158.90. And the dollar cap pivot points at 099.75 with a preference to enter into long positions at 099.75. Looking at commodities and indices, the oil pivot point is at 86.50, with a preference to enter into short positions at 86.50. The gold pivot point is at 173.2, with a preference to enter into short positions at 173.2. The silver pivot point is at 32.75, with a preference to enter into short positions at 32.75. The US 500 is at 138.8, with a preference to enter into short positions at 138.8. And the UK 100 is at 5695, with a preference to enter into long positions at 5695. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. And watch out for these market movers. In the UK, we have the retail price index year-on-year year in October forecast to rise by 2.9%. In Europe, we have the German Zoo Economic Sentinels in November forecast to improve to minus 98 And in the US, we have the federal budget forecast to widen to minus $114 billion. And our interesting pair of the day is the dollar Swedish krona. We saw the US dollar recorded a two month high at 678089 versus the Swedish krona overnight. This level is acting as a resistance and the greenback is now moving lower. The previous resistance area at around 67650 is expected to act as a support and long positions around that level could offer excellent risk reward potential. Thank you for watching our daily outlook for the 13th of November. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.